So what are you up to now? You're doing watches, did you say? Yeah, I have a watch company based online. I have a office at my house in Portugal. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to move it to the UK to offer more services to other clients. So what, what kind of watches? Uh, Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet. Yeah. All brand new, all pre-owned. Yeah. Their client desires. And uh, at the moment, what is the sort of hottest designer watch? What does everyone want? Is it still Rolex? Mixture of Rolex and Patek Philippe. You've got the 5711 in steel and rose gold. Mm -hmm. 5980, that's in steel, rose gold, and steel and rose gold. Also, you've got steel models from Rolex, such as the Batman, mm -hmm. Hulk, Submariner, Daytona. There's so many that that are increasing my first I think I told you before but um, my first ever Rolex I bought was when I was 16 years old yeah I bought it from a golf pro it, out of the yellow free ads and um, it was 350 pounds but it was um, the Explorer 1 with the Perspex glass yeah with the big orange marker the, yeah. the hand i hated it because yeah. i wanted new oh i wanted the, i you know i didn't want the plastic version you yeah. know the, with the glass i wanted the crystal version and i, I took it to um uh, i think dimmers in, in south sea and i sold it for 1500 quid but now that watch is how much is that worth now so i think it's more really yeah because some of the most recent Explorer 2s yeah. have got up a lot. Depends on the reference number. Do you remember the reference number? It was, it, you know, it, it, was the, it, it, was the, it was the first ever Explorer with the big orange hand, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember I don't that. Know where, I don't know what reference number. Like. up and see. Yeah, I've had a few... God, I had a 19... I had a 1970 Submariner. Yeah. I sold that probably three years ago. I had a, a 1982 Sea Dweller. Sub that as well. <laughs> <laughs> that All my investments don't last long. <laughs> uh, 40 million, 40 millimeter version. 40, yeah, 40 mil. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah and, and we were just talking about earlier that, and I had the, the white gold uh, Yacht Master 2. And we're just saying that you know the value from gold to stainless steel, the mar the margins hide nothing. Especially in the market value, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. The um, retail prices is a big difference, but in the market, yeah. The, so brand new, yeah. huge difference. Yeah. Second hand, yeah. No, because everyone everyone wants. I think of it as steel is more affordable. Yeah. And when they're all gone, that was that's what produces the market value. Just yeah. blows up. Yeah. And they compete against each other. But there's a few precious metals that are increasing in it, like the Daytona in yellow gold with a green dial. Also the date date forty, mm -hmm. rose gold with a green dial. They're all increasing in value. But I, I don't understand the values of the Hulk, the Batman. Yeah. The, what what is the other one? The Pepsi or something? The Pepsi's, yeah, it's around brand new or two thousand eighteen for a Pepsi you look at. Fifteen and a half thousand. And what is that retail in the shops? So if, you, if you were to wait, seven one. Seven k. So kind of you buy it, you, you, you place your order in the shop for seven, and then you can literally sell it to someone who don't want to wait for it for fourteen, fifteen k. Yeah, ridiculous. But to qualify to get it at seven grand, you have to buy numerous models before that. Really? Like they what, they just, won't, you can't just go into like a Leslie Davis or... A, you could go into them and get lucky, but very, very rarely. You have really? to go and buy four or five Datejusts, yeah. a Cellini, really? an Explorer, yeah. a Milgauss, yeah. and then you qualify for the in-demand models. Or you say, I want a Pepsi, and they say, right, so wait in your waiting list for five years. Mm -hmm. And that's, you either buy it away or just pay the premium. What's the one you had, you just bought and sold? GMT. GMT. All black. So that's, that's, that's gone. So that's, that's GMT, 
black ceramic bezel, black dial. They don't yeah. make them anymore. No more. Discontinued. Yeah. Yeah. So you think why would they discontinue that? Because it's just such a classic colour. It's not. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? They've just discontinued the Batman and the Oyster. Yeah. Oyster Shop and we've released a new one on the Jubilee bracelet, which has killed the watch. The yeah. only good watch on Jubilee is the Pepsi. Yeah. That's what Rolex wanted to do. Yeah. 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 So, so, you, so you're now in London. You've moved over. Yeah, based in London now. Yeah. Looking to stay here. Yeah. Business is a lot better. So some of your clients, you've got some um, some VIP clients. Yeah. Old Carl. Yeah, Carl, no Carl. Like maybe Portugal. Yeah. Let's play golf. Yeah. Um, and what's Carl's got his? Um, what's the Carl Garage called? What's he got? Tom Hartley. Tom Carl's Hartley. That's his dad's place, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Carl Hartley. He's such a good guy. Yeah. Good golfer as well. Um, very knowledgeable about buying and selling. You know Carl Hartley. You know, Tom Hart, he, he's got like a very, uh, he's been selling supercars for like 30, 40 years. And uh, his boys have grown up in the industry and now they've got their own sort of car showroom brands. And, and I mean, they've got the sort of Bugattis, Lamb, all the top supercars. All the top supercars. They did, yeah. Um, I think he's recently sold his Bugatti. I saw on Instagram. Mm, yeah. He is very good at what he does. He's established. Yeah. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to try and get yourself established over here by hitting social media hard Certainly. and building your little brand up, which is this face, yeah. and uh, making yeah. sure everyone who wants a watch comes to you. Definitely, yeah. Because there's, you know, there's, there's. I don't think in, in Fulham there's any watch traders, but you know, obviously when you go into Mayfair, there's loads of them. Yeah, Hatton Garden, Canary Wharf, there's a, yeah. a lot. I don't have any overheads, so I can be yeah. cheaper. So do you want to buy people's watches? Yeah, do I'll buy, yeah, if, definitely. So if, if, if people, if someone's got like an old Rolex at home or a new Rolex and, you know, you, they can get in contact with you yeah. and you say, like, I'll give you a, a trade price? Certainly, yeah. Well, if yeah. they have a price in mind, they, have to, they can yeah. tell me straight away. Um, if it's the hottest models, like the Batman, Submariner, Pepsi, Daytona, I'll definitely buy it. And also if they want a new watch. Yeah. If they want, you know, obviously there's, fan, you know, uh, Rolexes, you can't really get any discount. Rolex is like, a, it's like, it's a set yeah. price, isn't it? Yeah. There's no real, real discount from bargains in Rolexes. Not on steel. But if they're going to come to you and they want a, a Breitling or an Amiga, we can offer Hublot. Huge discounts. Huge discounts, isn't it? Yeah. Up to 30% off, I think. Yeah. Almost. Depends on the model, because there is a few hot models in there for their brand. Yeah. Which the discounts would be less on, but it's certainly a big saving on those models compared mm. to Rolex, Audemars PK, and Tat Philippe. Even some Audemars PKs, you can have a big saving. Mm. And uh, at, at the moment, how, how are you doing your uh, brand awareness and your marketing? Mainly Instagram and LinkedIn. Yeah. yeah. I think LinkedIn would be LinkedIn would be really good. It is good, yeah. You, could, you can choose the people you want to connect with. Yeah. Well, it's just putting, it's creating video. Yeah. You, could, you know, if you wanted to create some more video, you know, with Connie, you can do later. And literally just do some, you know, a one minute, call to action for LinkedIn yeah. and that would work really well. Definitely, yeah. Be because there's loads of people, so, you know, I've got a mate of mine who sells uh, bespoke suits. Five years ago when I first met him, he comes from, uh, I think Liverpool, uh, he's small, you know, and now he's just been instructed by Liverpool Football Club yeah. to dress all the, all, uh, you know, their, their team suits. And he does, um, like, I think he's done fucking Lionel Messi or, uh, you know, some huge footballers. A um, couple of the Scouser um, boxers, Tony Bellew dresses him. But he gets so much work from LinkedIn. Yeah. What's the company name? I follow a few on LinkedIn. Bespoke. Uh, ah, yes. I think, so I think it's just called Bespoke. Yeah. I think it's called Bespoke. And also, um, because every, I would say 95% of people 
on LinkedIn are fighting to get where they want to be. Yeah. You know, they, they want to be inspired. There's not many successful business people who have made it on LinkedIn, um, which are still chasing, chasing the dream. True. You know, you've got, you, they, have this, they have a presence there, but it's, you know, if I go on LinkedIn, I will be approached by fucking 50 people a day yeah. trying to sell me something. Yeah. It's everyone's a middleman. Everyone's trying to sell, sell, sell. So everyone's, everyone would love to have the gold, to have a nice watch, to have a nice car. You know, so Amari cars and uh, probably Tom Hartley cars. They're all on LinkedIn. Romans International. Romans. Got, <laughs> Romans, they put one post on about a Lambo. It's got like 3,000 likes. Because yeah. everyone's dreaming about that bloody Lamborghini. And they do the same with watches. Definitely, yeah. Had a few... Four or five today through LinkedIn messages. Hopefully, get them converted today. Beautiful. And so they, did you put an advert out there or just what I did just, you do? I post three to five pictures. Yeah. Uh, videos of watch today. Yeah. With detail, price, availability, yeah. and delivery time, price. So what was the, the the ad you put out? Was it a picture of a watch to say that you that, that this is what I've got? This is what the, the sale price is. Or? This one was a video of uh, the new Sea Dweller. The, the new Sea Dweller. It's yeah. the first one that's buy metal, yellow gold. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it took off. It took off. I think the market price at the moment is about fourteen and a half thousand pounds. Reasonable. So that's what you can buy it for. That's the market price. That's yeah. the market price. Yeah. What about um, Omegas? Because they're good sellers, aren't they? Because they're very affordable. But trouble is, they 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 lose money like they're going out of fashion. Don't they? Yeah, it depends. There's a, one just been released, the Speedmaster Mood Watch. Yeah. It's limited edition. That's premium. Yeah, but on the whole, they don't. I like the, you know. I, I like um, I like Planet Ocean. Planet Ocean Chrono. Yeah, that's what I like. Do you like the Planet Ocean, Ocean Chrono? They're, oh. they're a huge watch. It's like about forty-five mil or something, isn't it? Yeah, you can get them in uh, three different sizes: forty-two, yeah. forty-four, and forty-six. Yeah, lovely watch. Very well made, yeah. but <laughs> if you buy if you're, gonna, if you're gonna buy one for probably five, six k. Yeah, that's the retail price, I think, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be worth three and a half next year. Yeah. Well, not this time.